Anybody that's viewing the broadcast, I'm just waiting on some viewers to show up and so that we can we can show this video. Don't want to put out a tutorial or a <clears throat> or a tour of the video until somebody some people are in here worth showing. Alright, if you guys can, anybody that's viewing right now, if you can tell your friends about this, see if you can get other people to watch, uh, so we can get some more viewers and start this video. Okay, so I guess we'll already start. Um, I don't want to make this this video too long or too boring. Okay, so uh, we got a common eight-digit di combination lock. The combination is two one four three five six seven eight. So two one four three. Five, six, seven, whoops, eight. And there you go. And then all you gotta do is reset it. And it closes back up. Now I'll show you how it works. Basically, these are a set of nodes. This uh, this right here represents one node. These, this uh, redstone right here re represents one node. So there's a series of eight nodes. So eight nodes, eight buttons. So there's a button for every node. Um, so basically, if I were to hit, if I were to hit one or two, let's say that's the first one in the combination, right? And that node is lit up. So if I were to press any other one that's not within the combination, let's say that one, nothing lights up on that second node. Okay, if I do it in order, so next one's 2 1. Uh, 
and it goes in order. So, as I put it through the combination, three, one, four, three. So we have four nodes lit up. So as as the nodes go through and go through, and it completes the circuit, which allows a piston. It will allow a piston to open up and allow the circuit to go through to go through the door, if you know what I mean. Kind of hard to explain, but yet again, it's a really simple design, and I was able to understand it easy enough. So five, six, seven, eight, and if you saw that that uh, circuit or this this uh. This one circuit here, it, it allowed this uh, it to uh, it allowed this piston to open up to allow the the circuit to complete. So pretty cool design. I liked it. I thought you would like it. So um, I also did it on some other contraptions you can you don't have to do it just uh, onto a door you can do it on a gate as well which is really cool all you have to do is uh, is complete the um, the circuit for everything and then make your your redstone stuff for your for your gate and this is a triple extending piston and I screwed up on design somehow I'm not sure how it is what how it how it messed up it might be timing or something like that that I need to go around and fix but um, the gate is is basically a problem with the this there's a problem with something but the switch actually worked to fix to do the gate See, as uh, this the switch, the combination works, but the door is kind of malfunctioning a little bit. So, but I mean that's a good example just to show you that it works on anything. You can connect it to anything. You can you can make whatever you want, what kind of doors, whatever, and uh, make anything you want on it. And it's just all you have to do is just wire up all this, then wire it up to whatever you need it to function on, uh, function on so I mean say you just want a, a simple door just like that over there to be to be have a locking mechanism onto it you know if you, or if you want it to open the gate to your castle which is probably which was one of my my ideas that I kind of wanted to do was to hook this up to in my castle one time and, and uh make a combination switch um, I also did it over here this is a different version of it um, that other one was a four digit password this one's an eight on this gate so um, I don't think I completely hooked it up yet I wasn't finished um, but just to show you that thought it would be cool Alright guys, we have a good day.